Pastel de choclo, the Spanish word for shepherd's pie. Mm mm mm. Yum. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today I'm here with Chris, aka Gringo Mode, on. Woo! Super Gringos! The Super Gringos! Have you heard of us before? We're here to save Santiago. We're gonna save everyone from, I don't know what. Capitalist stuff from the United States is gonna turn to Chilean stuff, native Chilean culture. <laughs> it's gonna be great! And we're trying out some Chilean foods. So, we both ordered two different dishes, and we're starting with uh, porotos granados. And it's in this nice little nice little bowl here. Yeah. Have you had these before? These porotos granados, are, these are delicious. I love to go to uh, La Vega Chica, or the, 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 near, near La Vega. Uh -huh. I'll get porotos granados there. Yep, probably really in a price. bigger bowl, huh? Uh, yeah, like yeah. a massive bowl in that <laughs> case, yeah. All right, here we go. Porotos granados. Have you ever tried to prepare this meal? Like, uh, taking no. out the actual beans? No, from, have not. No, have oh, not. you gotta do it that way. It's the best. Although this is pretty good too, having it prepared for you. Mm. I love the zapallo. Mm. The orange right here. Mm -hmm. Nice and warm. We have a big other dish coming. That's why they prepared this smaller one for us. So we have more room for other stuff. Ooh, this is good. It's a little cool out today. I know we're wearing t-shirts, but this is perfect on a cool day. Mm. Mm. That's good. You know what? I would, with Missy, I'm gonna ask, for um, merken, just a little merken. Mm. I think we get a little kick. Yeah, 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 a little kick. I like that. Mm -hmm. So, what's your favorite Chilean dish then? We're talk about that. I have a couple. Everybody um, asks, right? How many times have people asked you that? What's your favorite Chilean dish? Yeah, million, hundred thousand. It's like approaching a hundred, maybe. A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is so beautiful, but remember to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you're identified for any new videos that come out. But, uh, man alive, this view is amazing. So good. Like, subscribe, bell button, go, now, 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 now. You still haven't done it? Come on, now. I'm freezing my butt off here. Just hit the bell button, hit the like button, please. Oh, you did? Thank you. Okay, back to back to the video. So you must have one. Do you rotate? Do you tell people sometimes uh, this one or sometimes that one? Yeah, depending on the season. I'd say my absolute favorite dish in Chile would be ceviche. Oh yeah, that's and good. It's mm -hmm. just so fresh. Yeah. After after I can eat so much of it, I'll get like a huge <laughs> amount of ceviche, and just because it like. The, the fresh sand, especially in the summer, which is exactly like what my, what I feel like my, that's what my body is like asking for. It's like ceviche. It's nice, it's got so much nutrients, yep. it's delicious. It's so refreshing in the summertime. So refreshing. So good. So what do you like to eat ceviche with? Do you like it with like a specific drink? Mm. I mean, pisco sour, yeah, right? That, me too, exactly, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Yep, pisco sour, delicious. All right, we're gonna finish this and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get on with our main dishes that we ordered, which I'm super excited about. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got our main dishes here. Um, what do you have here? What's, what's your dish? We got the classic pastel de choclo. So this has got uh, papas, right? It's got potatoes. It's gonna have meat on the bottom. Um, it's gonna have usually some other things as well, depending upon where you go. Um, but yeah, those are two main things, potatoes, meat, and then sugar on the top. So if you come here to Chile, this is my favorite dish here in Chile. And it's really good, especially in the summertime. So when it's really warm outside and you have the fresh corn, that's when you make it. And have you ever made it out in the campo before? No, like actually no. made pastel de choclo? I would love to, but no, I've never, never gone out and made pastel de choclo. You gotta come to Linares. You gotta I'll, come gotta to Linares, we'll do it. We'll gotta do do it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very awesome and a lot of work. I've got uh, cazuela. And for me, I think of Casuela when I'm out in the campo and it's really cold outside, maybe in between going to different classrooms at the lunchtime and it's cold outside in the schools. They come in with this Casuela and it's so delicious. It has, this one has some chicken in it. Uh, we've got a potato that's skinned, no skin on your potatoes. <laughs> in the United States, I eat the skin. Actually, I eat the skin here in Chile too. No, uh, I, I definitely have the skin. Yeah? That's great. You like yeah. the skin. Yeah, I do. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. And some uh, corn, but the corn is the, the whole entire piece of corn. They don't cut it for you. <laughs> I 
asshole. Um, that is so hot. I had the same thing. I just was so excited. Like I grabbed the whole bowl and I was like, right. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. yeah, you look like you've already eaten it too, but all right, I stopped you. <laughs> this is like the worst part of being a YouTuber is that you can't eat it. You have to smell it. You have to explain it first. You've got your merken that uh, you like. Do you put any merken on this? I mean, I could try. The whole idea is that there's that dynamic, right, between the sugar, right, and then the, the saltiness of the meat and, and the, the papas, right? But why not, right? This is always the first time for everything. Got some sugar let's, here. Let's add some merken. Let's add some merken. Okay. We're going to see how this goes. All right, all right. Most people put sugar, right? Now we're going to put on some merken. It's a little spicy. Give it a little kick. This might be a horrible idea. I'm sure you're thinking right now, oh, you stupid gringos. But it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I love hot food. I love spicy food. What do you think? It's still good. It's yeah. still really good. All right, all right. Yeah, that sounds good. I might use some for my cazuela. I love hot food. Cazuela is so good though because you can drink up the the liquid part and then use your fork and your knife. You'll see it on the Gringo Show. Make sure you go check it out. I talk about cazuela, and then you cut up all of your food and it's like a big meal. For me though, like you see on the Gringo Show, yeah, it's weird for me because I just use a spoon when I have soup. This one uses a fork, a spoon, a knife, everything. And your fingers, you can pick it up, I'm not gonna pick it up anymore, and eat it. <laughs> but so, so delicious, I can't wait to eat this now. What's your favorite Chilean food? I mean, there are so many different ones, and we were saying that it differs with the season. Right, So for right. me, summertime, this is the one. For you, summertime, yeah. For you, summertime, pastel de choclo. For me, summertime, ceviche. For me, winter is gonna be pastel de jaiba, right? It's the crab soup, melted cheese, uh, the crab jaiba. It's absolutely delicious. You've got to try it if you come here. What is your winter food? My winter food, cazuela, definitely. Awesome. I mean, I'm not a huge cazuela fan, but when you are out in the campo and it's cool outside, cazuela, there's nothing better than cazuela. Mm, that. So good. And summer food, definitely pastel de choclo. But we're gonna eat this food right now. It's so delicious. Make sure you go and check out Chris at Gringo Mode on. And I hope that you enjoyed our little uh, talk before we eat. Our stomachs are growling, I can hear his, and we're ready to dive in and eat this delicious Chilean food. The temptation is killing me. I gotta have this right now. <laughs> no, go ahead, eat. Just there eat. We go. Just, Here we just, go. Just eat. No, yep. it. no, no, it's all good. Mm. But make sure you check him out on Instagram and YouTube. We have a crazy collaboration. His video is gonna be insane, so much fun. We are running through the streets uh, with tape and super gringos. And tights. And tights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we look so stupid. But it's so much fun. And I hope that you enjoyed this little collaboration of us getting together, eating some food, talking about a little experience. And I hope that the borders open here in Chile and you get to experience this delicious food and traveling around Chile if you're outside of Chile right now. It's such a beautiful place to come and live and visit. So, we'll see you guys next time. We're going to enjoy this food, but for now, ciao.